Next I'll take the hot wire fox and I'll plug the probes right into the outlet. Turn the fox to hot wire fox on, turn it on to tracer tone, and put it on wobble or pulse and choose what type of tone you want to find. You can adjust the RF level if you want, but I suggest you turn it down all the way the first time, make it a little bit easier to trace. If you're having difficulty, change it up, try to find the null. The null is like the absence of the tracing tone. I'll take the probe, let's turn the sensitivity down all the way in the beginning, and start going in a circular motion around here. See, I can't really hear anything, so I'm going to turn up the sensitivity to make it a little bit easier to find. If I do that, I get a lot more noise. Now I'm going to try to null. The null is the absence of the noise. And there's a null right here. Yeah, as you can see, you can't hear the noise anymore. You can hear the tracing tone real clear, yeah, and no garbage. That lets me know that the wire is right there. I'll like to follow that wire, follow the null, all the way back to the breaker box. Now let me show you how to identify a specific breaker in the breaker box that belongs to this outlet. As you can see, I've traced the wire from the outlet all the way back to this breaker box. Now I'm going to take my hot wire hound and start tracing, start going over the breakers, trying to find the null like we did before. As I turn it on, you can hear the sound of the tracing tone being filtered all through this breaker box. That's why you want to try to find the null. Well, the null will allow you to find the specific switch that outlet is linked to. I might have to do a couple of passes to find it correctly. As I scan over the outlet slowly, it looks like the outlet over here seems that I have found the null. One way I can check to make sure I found the right outlet right breaker switch I mean. I'll flip the switch, go over back to the Fox 2 and see if the power indicator light's on. If the power indicator light is off, that means there's no power going to that outlet, meaning that I found the right switch. If the light's still on, I may have to come back here and rescan again. Like I said before, the Fox and Hound hot wire is not specifically designed to find breakers. If you really just need to find a breaker, I highly suggest our breaker sniff it. It's specifically designed to find a breaker switch. This product is great for tracing powered and unpowered lines. Well, if you have any more questions about the Hotwire Fox and Hound, please contact us at 1-800-TRIPLET or find us on Facebook. Thank you for watching this video.